with Flea Market Flipper. Today we are going to go over a problem. What happens when you sell an item and you can't fit it onto one pallet? Um, the pallet, the item's too big. As you can see, we sold two of these as a combined auction. These two pieces of exercise equipment, a recumbent bike and a elliptical. The elliptical is eight foot long, so most pallets are 48 inches by 40 inches, um, which yeah, like you, you, there's no way you can fit that on there and ship it. So, um, like I said, today we're going to actually go through what to do if you run into this problem. Um, if you come over here, I have my wonderful wife uh, videoing me today. Um, we're actually going to put two pallets together. You can see we have two pallets here. They're not the exa exact same pallets, but they're close enough. Um, I got two pallets that were close, and then I went and bought four boards, four two-by-fours from uh, Lowe's. So, what we're going to do is put lines down the center of these. Um, with the boards the, for the um, uh, eight foot boards and then we're uh, we're going to strap the two pieces of exercise equipment down to these and that's how we're going to ship it so um, well uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and get to work I'll keep you posted and then once I uh, get it all together I'll show you how we did it so all right guys All right, guys, so we got the pallet ready. We did our uh, three boards across the, one across the middle, two on the outside. They're eight-foot boards. And then I actually put these um, extra braces on here. I didn't have to do that, but when I'm pulling from the outside with the banding machine or the banding straps or just regular straps, whatever you're using, I wanted this to be secure enough to let that pull in and hold down the unit. So the, the, uh, both units will actually sit up on top of these so it'll be a little bit higher, um, but I was okay with that. And that's about it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set these on here. Um, I measured them out. I knew I could get them close enough together where they wouldn't be 40 inches. We put the two pallets together at the 48 inches and 48 inches, so it's a total of, of eight foot. Um, and then it's the 40 inches wide. So normal pallets are 48 by 40. Um, we put them together the long ways. I wish I could have done them the other way um, and had it 40 inches by 48. Or, sorry, 80 inches by 48, but um, these units just wouldn't fit on it. That one elliptical is just way too long. So um, this is all ready. As you can see, this is not going to go anywhere. It's put together. I used a uh, three-inch uh, deck screw for this to go through the two-by-fours. I, I was pretty... Uh, um, I used uh, quite a few screws in here just to make sure it would hold down. I went through the braces of the, uh, the pallets themselves. So that's pretty much it. We'll go ahead and throw these suckers on here. I'll band them together with the banding machine, and then I'll show you once they're done um, how they look on here. All right, guys, I'm back. It has been a long night, but I got these jokers palleted up, and the only other thing I have to do is wrap it with the cellophane. So uh, I did make a goof up. I made the pallet, and I don't know how I did this, but I made it a little bit together. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't quite eight foot, so I pulled off, what, about a foot and a half, two foot. Um, I actually cut it, and you can see where I re-spliced it and rebuilt the pallet right here. Um, this actually, once I got them up there, I noticed that it was still too big. So I did this. It saved me probably about $150 um, in shipping. Um, so that was great. Once I, I tried out the uh, numbers on the, this size pallet versus the longer one, and once I found out it was about $150 cheaper, I decided to go ahead and cut it and make it right. So my mistake um, cost me uh, a little bit of time, but now these jokers are all nice and tight. They're ready to... Uh, ready to go. I started using the banding machine um, instead of these orange straps because you can buy these orange straps for I think it's 10 or 12 bucks at Harbor Freight, Lowe's, Home Depot, any of those stores like that. Um, but the banding machine was giving me some problems so um, I decided to just go with the orange straps. So the back side I just used one of the band uh, from, from the banding machine and that's how we did it. So other than that this sucker's ready. It's going to go to um, the freight company tomorrow and it will make it to their new owners. So, all right guys, that's it. Hopefully this helps out. Uh, you got a good look at the pallet, how I built it, put two together, cut one down a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much.